welcome back YouTube and all you molders out there. So this video is actually going to go over nozzle tips, the different nozzle tips and the nozzle uh, body that goes on to the end of the screw or end cap. So follow along. I hope this information in this video will help you out to understand the different types of nozzles and the nozzle body that goes on the end of the cap. Okay, so follow along guys. Comparing the three designs, there are advantages and disadvantages to using each. The general purpose nozzle tip can have a dead spot that could alter material properties and potentially create molding challenges. This design choice may not be ideal when frequent color or mold changes are required. Lastly, the small orifice diameter and long land length could cause high shear heating and big pressure drops. The reverse taper nozzle design has a larger diameter at the intersection to the sprue bushing, so it won't freeze as quickly as the general purpose design. The design requires the sprue to be partially pulled out of the nozzle tip by breaking at the thinnest section. This is a challenging process that is highly dependent on the temperature behavior of the nozzle tip. The free flow tip is a good alternative to the general purpose nozzle because the free flow internal design eliminates the potential dead spot. The orifice can also be adjusted to the need of the mold cold sprue bushing. Although opening the free flow nozzle will allow the material to drool out, the increased land length will counter this effect. Off instantaneously as soon as melt flow stops, preventing melt from escaping the end of the nozzle. Its unique design allows for the free flow of material, which results in almost no loss of pressure. The USA Standard 7 8 14 nozzle tip fits any nozzle body. It has the 7 8 14 thread, half inch rear opening, offered in half inch or three quarter inch radius, and orifices from 1.5 millimeter to nine millimeter, and it's recommended for shot sizes up to 68 ounces. The components include the body, the Belleville washers, the poppet, and the rear seat. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I uh, appreciate all the support to the channel. I appreciate all the people going and checking out my little shorts. Um, like I said, I'm trying to go over like die casting, blow molding, extrusion, uh, compression molding, anything that does molding, 
I'm going over any of that stuff that I can. Um, any topics that you guys would like to have uh, in the next upcoming videos in the next weeks, put a comment down below and let me know what you guys would like to see or what troubleshooting skills would you guys like. Remember, I'm doing quizzes, so I'm going to try to link all the, the quizzes and stuff down at the bottom of my page so you guys can see the quizzes, okay? I appreciate all the support. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. <laughs>